Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, in deck number 591, we're going to talk about Zaxara the Exemplary. Black, green, and blue. Nightmare Hydra, Death Touch. That's that's cool, right? But it's a 2-3. Yeah, we're probably not using that part of it anyway, right? So you tapped to add two mana of any one color. That's cool. So whenever you cast a spell with an X in its mana cost, create a 0-0 green Hydra creature token. Then put X counters on it. Oh, I get it. That's why Zaxara is the exemplary. Okay, that's the... Dang it, Wizards. Anyway. Um, naturally, this card drove a ton of cards up in the demand. So... Um, now, adding two, tapping to add two men of any one color, of course... Yes, automatically we're going to have Pimim Zara and Free From The Real. That's just a thing that we're going to do. But the the X spell thing, that's what it's... Your X spells are almost buy one, get one free. You're, you're getting whatever the spell is, but you're also getting this creature with these 1-1 one, one counters on it. That's why things like... Hardened scales, you know, you might as well get another counter, right? And then death presence. So when they die, you get. Yes, the Ozolith is a better version of this, but I am out of Ozolith. I only pulled like the two or. We all seen however many I've pulled, so. Or maybe you have, maybe you haven't. I don't know if all. Anyway, I'm out. But death presence, it's not bad. Uh, six mana is kind of rough, but. Uh, yeah, before we get into the the crazy X's, um, <laughs> let's look at our ramp. Because, naturally, for an X spell deck, you want X to be as large as possible, right? I mean, we're not always going to have the free to, or the aura to, uh, to get that infinite blue mana, right? So, anyway, we have got like all the classes of ramp. Let's go through the artifacts first. Of course, we got Soul Ring, Arcane Signet. It's three colors. Why not? You know, uh, Simic Signet, Simic. Oh, I'm sorry, Simic Key Rune, and then Simic Signet. The Commander Sphere, the Zagoth Crystal, Dark Steel Ingot, Silengar Monument, Sultai Banner. Now to creatures. Fertilid works great because it uses plus one counters. It fetches lands. You can put more, uh, yeah, it's, you know, Leyline Prowler. Yeah. Would you pay one and a black more for a Bird of Paradise if it was a 2-3 Death Touch Lifelinker? Yeah, yeah, all day. <laughs> uh, Urborg Elf. Ilzian Carrioted. Yes, I practiced that. <laughs> and Merrily Pixie. Then we move on to our spell-based ramp. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Rapid growth, grow spiral, search for tomorrow, cultivate. And we're going to finish up with boundless realms. Because double up, right? Um, so that's a bunch of ramp. We can just about bank on having some sort of ramp in our opening hand, right? Because that's a bunch. That really is a bunch. Um, now, let's get into the X's, right? Sure, why not? So, we have creature X's. You know, Hydras, whatnot. Because this way, it's buy one, get one free. Yeah, the one you're getting free is just a, a generic one. But, um, still, who doesn't like buy one, get one free? You know, so Protean Hydra, uh, yeah, it's it's really really good. Even even the old Ivy Elemental uh, from just uh, I mean just X counters, whatever man, I don't care. You get two. Um, Wildwood Scourge, Hangerback Walker, Mecha Godzilla, Vastwood Hydra, Cryptic Trilobite. Capricopian, 
I am impressed with myself. I got through that word. <laughs> and Genesis Hydra. So those are the actual creature X's that we've got. Now, uh, we'll just go through the rest of it. You know, Strength of the Charu. I have never cast this card before, and I've forgotten about it until I saw it actually in C20. Um, it's an X spell. It puts counters out there, and I'm like, huh. This is exactly what this deck needs. That's probably why it's in there, right? Prosperity. Hey, let's all draw some cards. Why not? It's the probably the cheapest card drawing that there is, X spell-wise, but that's the reason why, is because everybody's drawing. I mean, yeah, I, I've got the Mind Spring. Um, Gaze of Granite. Because sometimes... You just got to have a fire sale. Everything must go. <laughs> Thrive. Death Wind. Animist Awakening. Probably should have been with the ramp. Uh, Profane Command. Windstorm. Nissa Steward of the Elements. Here we... I mean, this is not bad, right? Now, our last two is it, a little old school. Um, Hurricane. This also doubles as a win condition. Yeah, yeah. A, all players and flyers take X damage. Love that revised wording, though. Suffer X damage. Anyway, so, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a card that does a lot of damage, but unfortunately, it deals a lot of damage to you. Now, um, how do we live through it? Well, the turn before, you cast a stream of life. I can't tell you how long it's been since I have actually played a stream. Well, y'all could probably tell me. Um, I know when I went to log this deck onto Architect, I had never registered a revised Dream of Life. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, when you're talking with the possibility of infinite... Mana, stream of life doesn't seem that bad. <laughs> um, you know, we got stuff like the Dive Vault Tutor to go find it. Uh, other, see, card. Oh, Dark Tutelage. Now, normally, I play Dark Tutelage because, you know, I just don't care. Um, but the average CMC on this deck, because of all the X spells, is so low. Remember that... If you flip up that hurricane, you're only losing one life, right? Because X is zero, anywhere not on the stack. So, dark tutelage, kind of decent there, you know. Uh, yeah, I got a sign and blood and a harmonize and a bonders ornament. Um, propaganda. Okay, okay. Removal. We have got. Uh, I do kind of put the, you know. The counter magic in with a removal. So that's where the negate, the miscast, the fierce guardianship, that's, you know, pretty much where they lie. Um, mystic repeal, return to nature, putrefy, death sprout, casualties of war, and acidic slime. Acidic slime, I mean, it is a, it's not an X spell. It doesn't have anything to do with X spells, uh, but it's just a really good removal spell, right? Um, Titan's Nest. Because, you know, X spells. So, Levitation is in there because uh, Flying Hydras make me giggle. <laughs> I, I mean, why not, right? Um, yeah. Because these Hydras don't have Trample. They're just large creatures, you know? Uh, so let's keep them flying. But also... Our last non-land card, Simic Ascendancy. I mean, we've got to have it, right? Uh, or put on a creature you control. Yeah. As I remember from Zaxara, you put the token into play and then put the counters on it. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, now we get to the non-basic lands. We're three colors, so... I Put a command tower in. That's kind of my... If I've got command towers, it's 
pretty much what I say before. There's two color decks have enough options without having to go to the tower, you know. Um, exotic Orchard, Evolving Wilds, Myriad Landscape, Opulent Palace, Gateway Plaza, Golgari Guildgate, Jungle Hollow, Vivid Creek, Dismal Backwater, Sunken Hollow, that's a pretty Demir Guildgate, Lumbering Falls, Simic Gate, and the Thornwood Falls. So that is Zaxara. I'm kind of super excited to play it. Uh, it, uh, I didn't want to put, I, I, I figured one Diabolic Tutor was not too much. You know, I didn't want to load it up with five or six tutors and just be all about the infinite mana combo. Um, if it happens, it happens, right? If not, it's all right. You know, it's still a lot of hydras. So 591, we're starting a new row. Um, got, uh, so throwing you a curveball for the next deck. Uh, I won't, uh, won't spoil what it is, but you're not expecting it. I'll tell you that. Uh, I do appreciate y'all watching. Y'all let me know what you think. But right now, we're going to shuffle and cut. 